Hello everyone and welcome. In this video, we will see how to choose the number of groups that is K in K means clustering. So before moving forward, let's take an overview of what K means clustering is. So in K means clustering, so it is an unsupervised machine learning algorithm, right? So we try to group the data into different groups based on their features let's say if i have a uh, apple then its shape is round right and its color is green or red right and if i have a banana then it is curved and it has color of lemonish type right so based on their features we try to group this object together so how do we choose this value of k how do we know that only these two groups are possible or are optimal for our problem right so here we will see that in this video so let's consider you have this data point so we have plotted this data points on x and y axis now take a pause and think how many clusters or groups can we form here so you can think of as many clusters as there are data points right so i can have one two three so i can have the number of cluster is equals to number of data points so this single data points will be classified as different clusters then next you might think of that these two right so these data points that are together and these data points that are together will be the right cluster right two cluster so here at k equals to 2 we have made this two clusters now if i increase this value of k let's say i make it 4 now also we have these many possible clusters here right so at different value of k we can form different number of groups so here the total possible clusters are number of data points in your data set now how do we know which k value will give us the correct you know, groups or correct number of groups so for that what we do is we evaluate our cluster right we should have a metric where we can evaluate our clusters so we do that using inertia so here we have this inertia now how does this inertia works so here we have this cluster centroids and these are the data points that are there in our cluster t1 and here it is the centroid of cluster d2 and these are data points in cluster t2 so the distance between this centroid and all this data point should be as minimum as possible so this distance should be small and same is true for this d2 as well if these two have the less inertia or less intra cluster distance then we say that that our cluster are good enough okay so we say that our cluster are good enough and we are satisfied with our cluster and in in we have called this as inertia few people call this as within sum of square as also or wss all right so here what we do is we plot this inertia on this y axis and on x axis we have the number of clusters all right so here at k equals to 1 this is the k equals to 1 which means all the data points are in one cluster at that point we have this total within sum of square 200 all right so here it is our inertia and it is high here right so at next iteration we take this k equals to 2 so here the k is 2 and here the inertia has decreased right if there is a sudden decrease in this inertia so here to have this inertia we should have minimum possible inertia right so here i have this t 
so here the number of cluster or the value of k is 3 and here we have k equals to 4 so think of this this graph looks something like your elbow or think of your arm here right so here you have this like your arm we have plotted this data set and you can think of this like your arm and here this is your elbow point all right so this is your elbow point and here after this point if you see there is no much decrease in this inertia value right so there is no much decrease so we select this k equals to 4 as our optimal number of cluster and we move forward with clustering with this k groups so this is how we find this right value of k so this is one method which is widely used there are other methods as well.